Hello lovely people and welcome to my video about the top 10 Ordnance Survey UK Walks Part 2. So part 1 was way back in 2020 um, when we were meant to do all the top 10 walks um, in memory of my dad who loved to hike. Um, and because of Covid, um, everything, all our plans got a bit scuppered and we ended up just doing six of the hikes which were Dunstanborough Castle, Bottomere Lake, Old Man of Coniston, Cat Bells, Scaffold Pike, um, well, nearly, you'll, you'll see what I mean about that if you watch uh, the video, and Helvellyn. I'll add the video to the end of this one if you do want to watch that one. And then basically what happened was the next summer, so 2021, we ended up doing the remaining four hikes, um, which were Snowdon, Beth Gellet, Mam Tor and Malham and Gordale Scar. And I can't quite believe it's taken me two years to get this video out. But, you know, life happens. Um, we got married in that time. Um, and yeah, just life. So I'm so happy to finally get it out. And I thought actually it might be, might be quite a good time of year to put this video out because it might provide a bit of inspiration um, to get out and about in 2024. 20, 20, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So the first walk we did was Malham and Gordel Scar in the Yorkshire Dales. It's a 7.6 mile loop and as you can see already, it's absolutely beautiful. The first major feature we come to is Janet's Foss. Foss is the old Scandinavian name for waterfall and legend has it that Janet was the queen of the fairies and she lived in a cave behind the waterfall. If you love cold water swimming, this has to go on your bucket list. This was one of the highlights for me of like all the walks we did. Um, just swimming in this beautiful, clear, gorgeous water on a warm summer's day um, with this stunning waterfall pounding down behind me. It was just incredible. These orange t-shirts we're wearing um, were for one of the charities that we were fundraising for. It's Jigsaw, Cumbria's Children's Hospice, and we chose them because my dad used to fundraise for them. This walk has to be the most varied out of, out of all the 10 that we did. It's, it feels like it's got everything. It, it's got a beautiful Yorkshire Dales village, meadows, forest, rivers, waterfalls, a lake, valleys, moorland, gorges, a cove and the alien landscape of the limestone pavement. This is Gordale Scar. It's a limestone gorge and it is so incredibly impressive. Um, for any of you who love watching The Witcher, um, there was a scene filmed here. It's a scene where a giant creepy crawly is chasing Princess Cirilla. We had an amazing bunch of friends, supporters on this leg of the walk, um, but the next leg basically involves scrambling up beside the waterfall to get to the top of the gorge and onto the moors. Um, so we said goodbye to our friends at this point and made the scramble, but I do have to say, um, we sat in the gorge for quite a while just watching other people do it and trying to work out the best way because, to be honest, it looked absolutely terrifying. And I scraped my leg pretty badly, as you can see. So we've just climbed the waterfall at Gord Gordale Scar and we're about to go up, up here. And it's Pretty cool scenery. There's another waterfall up here.
gorge we just came up and now we're heading to Malentan which is I think it's two miles this way um, so that should be pretty and then we'll get a lunch stop there there's some yeah people coming over the top there you can see them coming down from the town Limestone pavements were created during the Ice Age and since then the cracks have been widened by water movement. These landscapes are rare in Britain and have a high level of biodiversity. The habitat contains both limestone grassland plants and woodland plants because of the mix of exposed light spaces and shady crevices. So we've just reached, reached Malham Cove. Um, which is this and there are some people rock climbing above it and um, so I'll try and um, get footage of that in a minute um, and then we just walked across this plateau which was amazing and we've just come down these steps and then we're going to go all the way along this path this path here all the way back to Malham I don't know if any of you Harry Potter fans recognised limestone, the limestone pavement, um, but that's where they filmed a scene in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows um, when Harry and Hermione were on the run and they pitched their tent um, on the limestone pavement for the night. These are our last few scenes from the Malham and Gordell Scar Walk, um, which was brilliant. I can highly recommend it. Just be incredibly aware about climbing, climbing up that waterfall because it is actually really dangerous. Um, I'm, I don't know if there's a way, well, I'm sure there is a way you can maybe climb round the side of the gorge. Um, but yeah, um, apart from that, um, I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, the next walk we do is Mam Tor, which is in the Peak District. So we're doing the walks consecutively. Um, so this one was the next day on the 16th of August. I had to re-record this section when I got home because the, the sound of the wind was so loud. It was a really quite windy day and especially when we were on the top of Mam Tor. Um, it was so, so windy. Uh, so basically we'd walked up from Castleton and we are going where my finger's pointing um, across up to these hills and then where I'm jaggedly pointing is Mam Tor and then we're going to go across the ridge which is known as the Great Ridge um, and then down the valley through some trees and fields and back to Castleton. And that's a big fingers crossed that the rain holds off. We came across this very cool Year 2000 memorative plaque which said to commemorate all ramblers who campaigned for national parks and public access to mountains and moorland. So national parks um, in the UK, they're huge areas of land that are protected by law for the benefit of the nation. And there are 15 national parks in the UK. There's two in Scotland, three in Wales and 10 in England. And during this vlog, we actually visit three of them. So the Yorkshire Dales, the Peak District and Snowdonia. So here we are at the top of Mam Tor. We actually did this walk with my uncle, so my dad's brother and his wife, and it was really nice to have some company on it. Um, so Mam Tor, a bit of history, it's really fascinating. So it was the home of ancient Celtic peoples 3,000 years ago, and for generations it's been known as the Mother Hill. 
There used to be a fort on the summit and burial mounds have been found from the Bronze Age along with a flint tool and a stone axe head. So we're on the Great Ridge here and this separates the Vales of Edel, which is the one to the left that you just saw, and Castleton, which is this one. So we're coming towards the end of our walk to Mam Tor and our next walk takes place in Wales in Snowdonia. Um, now it's not quite correct that we did the top 10 ordnance survey walks because we were going to do the seventh most popular um, ordnance survey walk which was Triffin in Wales um, in Snowdonia but it turns out it's actually a very difficult walk. There's um, lots of intense scrambling and we're just not experienced enough so we decided to swap Triffin for the next most popular walk in Snowdonia after Snowdon and after Triffin which is Beth Gallet. We're just heading back into Castleton so this is Castleton and so we walked up there behind uh, where are we oh yeah so we walked, no I've got it wrong we walked up there behind this mountain and then up that mount tour all the way along there all the way along there we were up there and then we've just come down here we're gonna go down there and back to castleton so we're now on the ninth walk out of the ten and we've arrived in Beth Gellet which is a beautiful village in Wales and we're just about to leave the village and walk along this path along the river. This one here. Beth Gellet is the 31st most favourite walk out of the 100 um, top UK walks from Ordnance Survey. Um, it's a 4.8 mile loop and it's got a difficulty level of moderate. Um, to be absolutely honest, um, I know we did, you know, s most of the top 10 walks in the whole of the UK that were voted for, um, but this, out of all the 10 that we actually ended up doing, this was my absolute favorite. And it's because it was honestly just so pretty. It was like walking through a fairy tale. There were fern covered hills, mountains clad with all different colours of heather and gorse, little pools at the top of the mountain. Um, then there was the sort of valley down to the river was just filled with waterfalls and beautiful shaped trees and stepping stones over rivers. And then the river itself was crazy huge and wild. And then you were sort of traversing right next to it. The stone path um, was like, at certain points right next to the river and sometimes there were metal um, handles in the wall because it's you're so close to the river you have to hold on to the side of the wall and um, it was just yeah incredible I hope you really enjoy um, looking at this walk
then down the mountain and then along back along the river into just um, come to an old disused um, part of the mining system. You can see I think they used to mine, I'm not sure if it's slate or it looks a bit brown, I'm not really sure, but um, you can see there's a big wheel over there and then you can see how they um, used to take it down the mountain. This bench had a beautiful little saying inscribed into it which reads three things that will last forever faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love So earlier I might have been right in thinking that they used to mine slate because we came across this signpost that um, pointed to the Snowdonia Slate Trail. Um, so it must be along the same track that we were walking on. Um, and I've since looked it up and there's a, a whole route that goes all the way around Snowdonia which would be quite an interesting walk to do in the future. So we're nearly at the end of our Beth of Gellet walk here um, and our next and final walk is Snowdon which is the second most popular walk in the whole of the UK. It's 9.1 miles up to the highest peak in Wales um, and the route that was voted for was the Clamberis path all the way up and all the way back down the same track. So on the path to Snowdon. Snowden Mountain Train. The Snowden Railway was constructed in 1896 and is 7.53 kilometres long and it looks really cool. I would quite like to go on it one day. So the mist started to really descend um, pretty much from the halfway house point onwards. 
and the halfway house is just a little place where you can grab a snack and get a bit of shelter um and I cannot believe it but we bumped into friends soon after the halfway house um we didn't know they were on Snowdon they didn't know we were on Snowdon um, they were coming down from the summit and we were like just heading up and yeah it was it was crazy I just couldn't believe it when uh, my friend shouted my name I was just like this what's going on um, but that was a really lovely surprise halfway up the mountain so as you can see it was a bit crazy weather wise at the summit um, and there was also a massive queue just to get to the very very top of the summit um, I think like us everyone thought oh, I've walked all this way I'm not gonna like go right to the very top of the summit so we queued and we tried to stay warm and we made it in the end so we've come through the mist all the way down from Snowdon up there and then we follow the path back to the halfway house and all the way back down to near that lake just there There's a picture of me coming up, um, which was taken right at the end of the walk, looking a little bit bedraggled, um, but I'm wearing a t-shirt from one of the other charities we were supporting in memory of my dad, which is the Great North Air Ambulance Service. I hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to stay wild.